Hi guys, my name is Miller, and this time we're the first world exclusive launch of a car using a mobile racing game. The long was spoken and awaited for Pagani Huayra Roadster BC launch edition. But don't think this is just a mashup of a Roadster and a BC, or a BC with a chopped off roof. It is almost a brand new car with a new engine, new aero, new interior, new exhaust and even a new type of carbon being used. All around it can definitely be said it's just not another Huayra, but it is basically a complete new redesign with not a single panel being the same as the previous one. So let's do a tour of this 3.7 million pound car in CSR Racing 2. Before I start, thank you Natural Motion for providing me this car early on my dummy account to make this video possible. It obviously does still have the original design flow and ideology of the Huayra, and with Pagani it is always about the implementation of the details making it borderline perfection. In comparison to the Huayra BC and the Huayra Roadster, it has gotten a complete redesign in what can be found under the various panels. Within the back, a complete new 6 litre V12 engine being able to produce 791 brake horsepower, which is 50 more than the Huayra BC. Combine that with the reduction in weight compared to the previous Roadster to a mere 1250 kilos, and upgraded aerodynamics turns this car into a great track car. During testing, they have measured a 500 kg downforce at 280 km per hour and the lateral g force of 1.9 g's, which can stay on the track with the help of the massive IR redesign, but also thanks to the Pirelli P0 Trofeo R, specially developed for Pagani to be able to withstand such forces. But some changes are smaller and have to be pointed out to even notice, such as a new rear wing, which is now slightly longer and has some small additional parts sticking out to clean up the air even more, creating better downforce. Or the fender vents which have like a small lip pushing up the air so the clean air which has been built up in the front of the car coming from the grill can be directed alongside the car with the help of the side vents. It is aerodynamically one of the crazier concepts by Pagani. The meaner diffuser in the back with separate exhausts to benefit of a blown diffuser effect, the improved front splitter and the active aerodynamic flaps help this full carbon fiber almost literally stick to the floor. But it's not just about the car and its performance on track, it's also about the details in general, such as when opening the engine cover. You have to open up two leather latches manually on each side, which requires you to have both doors open, which is also the case in game. If you pay close attention you can see the latches actually opening up before the hood rises. Once raised the new engine comes to life. What I noticed first was the carbon fiber storage compartment, and talking about carbon fiber, Horacio Pagani is known for his love for composites and materials, and when they introduced the special carbon titanium weave material back with the Huayra, they went a step beyond for the Huayra roads to BC by making a new material which is harder and slightly stiffer, but in general a lot stronger. Like said, with many details and one of the best examples to show in my opinion is when you zoom into the front grille, you see a special pattern alongside the carbon fiber in the black paint. I even heard about the bolts having Pagani logos on it, it goes really crazy. But that's not all, it is a full of details and lots of items which I haven't mentioned yet or probably haven't even seen yet. This is truly something that you should check out in AR. People who don't know, the AR mode is a feature which allows you to place a car in the real world, either as a scale model or as a real life size model, so you can then explore all the details of the car by walking around and moving the car around. It is quite astonishing honestly. Sadly my 7 Plus, which has a car on it, has an issue with a camera which means I can't really record it properly as it keeps just jumping around, but maybe tomorrow in my event video I'll have some nice footage of it. If you want to try it out yourself, the car will be an in-app purchase and will be released tomorrow for a price of around 20 euros. If you're planning on getting the car, definitely go outside or place it on your desk to try out the AR mode. It is quite astonishing. The interior is beautiful. Now onto the game side with the release and what about it. An 80 races long event dropped on the map as soon as the update came out, revealing a ladder with 6 lock-ins with one of the rewards being the Pagani Zonda HP Barquetta, a special edition of the Zonda of which only three were made and meant to be a gift to Horacio for his 60th birthday. It is also a very nice piece of machinery and quite special. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to give you guys some footage. As the event is a 6 car lock-in, you might wonder what the 6 required cars will be. 
Use the raccoon concept on Reddit has found the potential lock-in of the cars and in a fast slot you will have to use the original Pagani Huayra. If you don't have the car, no need to worry, you might have noticed the free tag in the showroom. This refers to the Pagani Huayra, which you all will be able to claim tomorrow for free at the start of the event. A 4 star car, not the fastest one out there, but for free so who can complain really. For the second car, you are limited to only one choice, the Pagani Huayra Roadster BC, which means that an in-app purchase will be required to get the Barqueta. I can hear the booze in the background already, but listen up for a second. If you do need to buy this car and have any of the following cars, this will be the only required car to purchase to get both the purple star car being the Barqueta and the Huayra Roadster BC. So for the price of one, you could potentially get two quite special cars. To me, that's not too bad of a decision of them. It's kind of like an EVO Cup, but with the flash event mixed into an anniversary finale. And also, by the way, I forgot to mention that the 20 on the side refers to 20 years anniversary of Pagani, which then makes it sense to be an anniversary finale, right? Slots 3 to 5 seem to be open for various cars, of which 4 are paid cars and 3 are free to get cars. The paid ones are the Maserati MC12 Stradale, the Lamborghini Veneno, the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, at Persona Blue, and the Pagani Zonda Revolution. These could potentially come up for sale tomorrow as well, for hard cash. The other three cars are the Pagani Huayra Roadster, the Pagani Huayra BC, and the Lamborghini Countach, which is something that threw me off for sure. Of the Huayras mentioned, I think one of the two will be purchasable for gold, and if it is the Huayra BC, it is another 7.6 car which can be bought with gold in-game. Wood wood. When locking in cars, I assume crates will follow, Locking in the Countach can then unlock Countach only crates, giving you a possible assist in getting past race 66 in Legends Never Die. The final slot, as expected, will be the Zona Barqueta, which you will have won on race 69 by now. I've seen pictures of this car being leaked, showing a 7.4 potentially, which is not bad at all. And for the Roadster BC, I have seen pictures of a 7.6, so I assume same performance of the season price Huayra BC. But another car has been added the Roadster BC Drago Viola edition. The purpose of this car is unknown for now, but it seems to be a faster version. For this one, we will have to wait and see what happens. Overall a quite big event, starting tomorrow. Hopefully by tomorrow evening, I'll be able to show more information and strategy around the event. The small update came kind of as a surprise, and it definitely shook up the community. Now hope it is quite doable. I'm definitely looking forward to it. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to leave a like, let me know down below if you found any other details about the roads to BC. Subscribe for more content like this. My name is Miller, see you around and keep racing.